Hello loves and welcome to today's video. It is the end of July, so we are now setting our intentions for the beginning of August, what I plan to read in this month. First, we have Deadlocked by Sherilyn Harris. This is the penultimate book in the Sookie Stackhouse series. I did not manage to finish all of them before I turned 30. This is the next one. Hoping I can get this done this month and maybe we can get the other one done this month too? These are a paranormal romance in a world with vampires and shifters and werewolves and all of these fairies, mystical creatures, and it's set in Louisiana. Our main character, Suki, is kind of in the middle of all of this drama and politics vampire-wise and shifter-wise, and this is book 12, so we've had too much plot here to summarize it. Series, they're nice palette cleansers, so I'm hoping to wrap it up soon and then I can move on to a new series. Another book in a series that I've been continuously working on, Small Gods by Terry Pratchett. This is from the Discworld series. Discworld as a universe has very many gods, so apparently in this one, one of the gods manifests themselves as a tortoise. I don't know plot-wise where we would go from there, but I am working on this series. I have enjoyed some of the books so far, but most of them have just been mid for me, even though I know this is a very beloved series, and I have heard good things about this one specifically, so I'm hoping this is one of the hits from this series for me. And a duology, we have Will Destroy the Galaxy for Cash by Yahtzee Croshaw. This is a satirical sci-fi adventure. In the first book, our main character is a space pilot who's down on their luck now because space flight is not really that much of a thing now that automatic transportation, like teleportation has shown up. He mostly does like tours for tourists and then he winds up commissioned by this super rich guy to pretend to be this famous pilot author and it leads him to a bunch of trouble. In this one it looks like he is signed on to pull some kind of heist and I'm sure it will go wrong in many funny ways so I am hoping to finish this this month then I can wrap that duology up and again move on to some other series because my series want to read list is getting a little out of control. I keep reading too many standalones so let's get some series wrapped up. And there are a couple physical books that I haven't gotten from the library yet, but I do expect to come in sometime this month. One of them is Middle of the Night, which is the latest Riley Sager thriller. I haven't looked at what this one is about because I find with a lot of thrillers it is best to go in completely blank so that you get the best suspenseful experience. Riley Sager I know is a very popular author on the internet. Most of his books have been just all right for me. He's not one of my favorites. Maybe this was the one that blows me away, but based on what I've heard people say so far, it probably won't be. And the last of the physical books I'm planning to read in August is Three Moments of an Explosion by China Millville. In July, Keanu Reeves's collaboration with China Millville launched and I did attend a virtual talk that the two of them did. And Keanu mentioned that Three Moments of an Explosion is the book that he read that made him want to decide that China was specifically the best person to collaborate with. Keanu Reeves says to read it, I'm gonna read it. It's apparently short stories, so not really a cohesive plot to know about, but I am looking forward to reading maybe some more short stories. The first of the audiobooks I'm planning to read in August is Chain Gang All Stars by Nana Kwame Ajay Brenya. This is, I think, like a sci fi futuristic novel in which prisoners are set in death matches for the entertainment of the people, and you can like work off your sentence if you end up winning your death match. But it is a death match, so the consequences of losing are quite steep. And I'm sure this will be a reflection on the prison system that we currently have and how it's not great. And this is one I've definitely heard some great things about, so I'm looking forward to reading that. Next Next is Ghost Radio by Leopoldo Gu. This is about a small town radio station that tells like spooky stories and then it becomes a national hit and gets into syndication. The creators of the show are unprepared for what that means. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't even look at the plot summary until right now because the only things I needed to know about this is one, that the author is Leopoldo Gu because I loved Pinata. Two, the audiobook is narrated by Pedro Pascal, so I didn't need to know anymore, okay? I was just 
totally in and I'm very excited to listen to this. Next is a nonfiction for the month and that is Hey Han by Emily Lynn Paulson. The like subtitle of the book is sales, sisterhood, supremacy, and other lies behind multi-level marketing. So this is a book about multi-level marketing, MLMs. If you're unfamiliar with MLMs, I do recommend the Lula Rich documentary, I think is on Amazon Prime, which is about the MLM LuLaRoe. Very eye-opening if you are completely new to MLMs. I am excited to read this book because I do find it very interesting how MLMs draw in people and kind of learning what warning signs to look out for in terms of exploitative companies. Next audiobook is The Tower of Nero by Rick Riordan. This is the fifth book in the Trials of Apollo series. This is a middle grade series about Apollo who has been cursed to live as a human and now the like Roman emperors have gone mad and are trying to take over the earth or something. That part of the plot kind of confuses me. This is the fifth book in that series so we are quite fully into the plot at this point and getting ready to wrap it up I think because I think there's only five in this series. These have been again a little bit mid for me so I am looking to wrapping up this series and then I can start a new audiobook series and get that list down. So I have just too many series on my TBR list, it's getting out of hand. So those are the books that I am most focused on completing in the month of August. Let me know in the comments down below what books are on your list for the month of August or leave the radio emoji for Ghost Radio. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.